What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the summer season of series number 9. Today we're going to be jumping into the trial event. Sorry the videos are a little late this week. Had some issues with my uh, internet at the house. So I'm getting them knocked out though and we'll be jumping into the trial event here in a couple of seconds. But let's go ahead and take a look at the restrictions here. So trial event is muscle mania and our reward is a 1970s corvette and our car restrictions are a class modern muscles and this is a dirt racing event so just be wary of that um and the car we're using is the 2013 ford shelby gt500 and the share code for the tune along with the name of the tuner and name of the tune will be up on the screen now if you want to check it out as well but we'll go ahead and let this match make, and I'll see you guys here in just a second. Let's take a look at what our other teammates brought. Charger, there's a Ford Falcon, two Ford Falcons, a Vauxhall, and two of the GT500. So, very good. Starting out with the San Juan Scramble. If you are new to trial events, uh, basically it is a team of drivers or players, the blue team, against the team of Drivatars, or computer AI, um, the red team. And basically you work as a team to try to beat the red team. For every opponent that you're ahead of, you get 100 points for your team. So you wanna try to not run into any of the blue team or the other players, because they are on your team. So let's see if we can't get a win here. It is best of three on these races, so the first team to win two events essentially um, so if you win the first two then you don't have to do the third but if you lose either of the first two you've got to go all the way through to the third team is looking pretty good you can see the points in the top right there we have 2700 right now whoever's in first place does get 50 extra points for your team um, just to prevent a tie from occurring I think feels pretty solid off-road. It does have off-road tires on it, so it makes sense. Got the Charger up here ahead of us. Yeah, our team is doing pretty good. So, looking good. Got three laps through here. I'm trying not to bump our teammate here, because I'm not going to try to push for that position. It doesn't make sense to do that as if, since we're on a team. Slow down there. See, like right here, I can take that position pretty easily. So we're gonna do that. It's best to just if somebody's going fast, and then you concede the position to your teammates. Um, that way, you don't try to overdrive yourself and potentially cause an issue there. But that is one lap done here at the San Juan Scramble. Um, just in the interest of time, um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip towards the end of that third lap unless anything interesting or funny happens during it. And I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright, we just have just a minor little turn here and we'll be across the line. We absolutely killed that race. We were, we are well ahead of everybody else. All right, so that is race number one for the blue team. We just have to win one more and we'll be done with this trial. Of it. Hopefully we can knock that out in the next race. Okay, race number two, Desierto Trail. So we've got a point to point race here for race number two. Again, same kind of scenario. It's the blue team against the red team. Don't push your teammates aside. Make sure you're driving as a team. I'm curious since this is a dirt event, the Dravatars are in stock cars, seemingly. I wonder if they even have all wheel drive because I mean, we took off from them um, last race, but we'll see how this one works out for us. Outside, obviously we've got all wheel drive, so we're just gonna boost up 
Got a demon here in front of us. Which would just naturally be faster like that. That's understandable. This is going to be a terrible corner. For us two. Um, there's our teammates kind of... I only saw one dive in, so that's not terrible. Um, careful about missing these checkpoints. That could really mess up the race. But, yeah, we seem to be doing okay. Um, I am curious if the Drivatars do get all-wheel drive or off-road tires or rally tires, even, for that fact. For these dirt events, or dirt trial events, rather. Because it doesn't seem like they're putting tunes on them anymore. That makes this incredibly easy for these dirt trials, at least in my experience. And this Shelby is definitely a good car for it. Halfway through the race, I mean, we're even leading our own team pretty well. I think I should. A little slow through there, uh, be a little more cautious, and then we'll really be able to get some separation again on the dirt section here, I believe. This might be one of my new favorite dirt cars, honestly. It's really stable. And it's fat. That's always good. It's easy to control and it's quick. Okay. Dart to the finish line here at the main festival. And there we go. Cross the line. That should be a trial victory for us here. And we got first in both of those races. So that gets us the race win and the trial win and unlocks that 1970 Chevy Corvette ZR. All right, but there we go. That is the San Juan Scramble trial event here in the summer season of series number nine and how you can get this 1970s Chevy Corvette. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content. I'm trying to get the rest of the festival playlist out today. Again, I do apologize for it being late. So, um, circumstances kind of out of the hands with the internet provider, but uh, we'll be back up and running. And like I said, I hope to get all of those videos out today and you know we'll be starting the new season on thursday so hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you in the next video